Prepare to read. Picture day perfection. Genre study. Realistic fiction stories are made up, but could happen in real life. As you read Picture Day Perfection, look for the beginning, middle, and end of the story. Characters who act and talk like real people. Problems that real people might have. Ways pictures and words help readers understand the story. Set a purpose. As you read, create mental images or make pictures in your mind to help you understand details in the text. Power words. Planned. Perfect. Hamper. Disaster, scowl, mood, queasy, fiddled. Meet Deborah Deason. Deborah Deason has always loved books. In fact, before she was an author, she used to work as a bookseller and a librarian. Now she lives in Michigan and writes silly stories that make children laugh and think. When she is not writing, she likes to read, go for walks, and do crossword puzzles. Picture Day Perfection by Deborah Deason, illustrated by Dan Santat. I'd planned for months. This was going to be the year of the perfect school picture, but some days not everything goes according to plan. The day started with the worst case of bedhead ever. Exhibit A, front view. Exhibit B, side view. Exhibit C, back view. Exhibit D, the look on my brother's face when he saw my hair. Then it took me quite some time to unearth my favorite shirt. I finally found it at the very bottom of the hamper. You might call it stained. You might call it wrinkled. You might even call it smelly. You wouldn't be wrong. Breakfast was picture day pancakes, a family tradition. This year's festivities involved a small syrup disaster. More accurately described as a large syrup disaster, and it occurred exactly as the bus pulled up. I had a feeling we'd be getting a new family tradition. On the bus, I got into a small bit of trouble. Make that a large bit of trouble. The bus driver made me sit in the seat right behind him for the rest of the ride. By the time I got into school, my picture day face was fixed in a scowl. In class, Mrs. Smith collected our photo order forms. Do you think my mom checked? Emerald green for my photo background? Or peacock blue? Or pizzazzy purple? No. Once again, of all the backgrounds in the world, Mom checked snoring boring traditional gray. No one gets traditional gray, except for me. And it just so happens to be the only color in the world that makes my favorite shirt disappear. All but the stains and the wrinkles. After that, the teacher had us all stand up and practice our picture day smiles. Personally, I thought we needed a little something to get us in the picture day mood. Whoops, got myself in trouble again. Luckily, I got to rejoin the class in time for art. Art involved quite a lot of paint, or at least it did for me. Finally, it was time to line up for our photos. Ned, just in front of me, got the last complimentary plastic comb. I watched as classmate after classmate smiled for the camera. I got queasy listening to everyone say cheese. I can't stand cheese. The mere thought of it turns me green, deeply green. And just as my face reached its most awful pea green shade, it was my turn. I stepped forward. I sat down on the stool. It was hard as a rock and cold as an iceberg. Just a sec," said the photographer as he fiddled with the camera knobs. As I sat and waited, everything that had happened rushed through my mind: the monstrous messes, the muddles, and the mix-ups. The whole day, 
from the moment I'd rolled out of bed, had gone perfectly. Even better than planned. This year, I was finally going to have the perfect school picture. And that's when I heard a click. In a flash, all my hard work, my perfectly tangled hair, my perfectly rumpled shirt, my perfectly sticky face, my perfectly composed scowl, that perfect boring background, those perfect paint splatters, that perfect sickly pallor, wasted, useless, ruined, in a moment of weakness, by an unexpected smile. Mom says it's my best picture ever. But just wait till she sees next year's. Turn and talk. Use details from Picture Day Perfection to answer these questions with a partner. 1. Create mental images. What does the boy want his school photo to look like? Use details in the text to help you picture it in your mind. Then describe your picture to a partner. 2. What was the author's purpose for writing this story? Why do you think she called it Picture Day Perfection? 3. How is the boy different from characters you've read about recently? Explain whether you think he learns a lesson. Talking tip. Complete the sentence to ask your partner for more information about an answer. Tell me more about...